When you reset your Wi-Fi router, several things happen that can prevent your internet from working immediately. Understanding these reasons will help you get back online faster. A router reset performed by pressing the reset button returns your router to its original factory default settings. This completely wipes out all your custom configurations. The reset wipes out your Wi-Fi network name, password, admin credentials, and all custom network settings. Everything returns to the manufacturer's default values. Your devices remember the old network name and password, but after the reset, the router broadcasts a completely different default network name. Your devices can't automatically connect because they're looking for a network that no longer exists. The router also needs to re-establish its connection with your internet service provider. It must obtain a new IP address, authenticate using ISP credentials, and configure the proper connection settings. This process can take several minutes. Outdated router firmware can prevent proper functioning after a reset. Old firmware may not be compatible with modern ISP systems, contain security vulnerabilities, or have trouble connecting newer devices to the network. Think of a router reset as giving your router a completely fresh start. Everything needs to be set up again from scratch, network settings, device connections, and ISP authentication. This is why your Wi-Fi doesn't work immediately after a reset. When your Wi-Fi isn't working after a reset, start with the basics. First, check that all cables are securely connected to your router and modem. Next, perform a proper reboot sequence. Unplug both your modem and router for 30 to 60 seconds. This clears temporary errors and gives both devices a fresh start. To reconfigure your router, connect a computer directly to the router using an Ethernet cable. Then open a web browser and navigate to your router's settings page, typically at 192.168.0.1 or 192.168.1.1. Once you access the router settings, you'll need to reconfigure your Wi-Fi network. Set up a new network name and password and make sure to save your settings. If you're still having connection issues, try these advanced troubleshooting steps. Update your router's firmware, contact your internet service provider to check for outages, or change your DNS settings to Google's public DNS servers. Remember, troubleshooting Wi-Fi issues requires patience and systematic testing. Start with the basics, like checking connections and rebooting, then move to more advanced solutions if needed. Most connection problems can be resolved with these steps.